we begin with a fifth grade teacher from Seattle who treats her students as if they're truly her kids. Here's Josephine Chang. At Seattle's John Muir Elementary School, Marjorie Lamar talks to her fifth graders. All right, babies. Thank you, my darlings. As if they're her own kids. Just one second, sweetie. Yes, sweetie. Which one are you doing, baby? She made me feel like I was at home and like she was my other mother. Yeah, second mom to me. And she's stern with them. I don't want you to, to do mediocre work and think that it's acceptable for you to do that. And pushes them like her own kids. You should get excited. This is a challenge. No, that's not what she did. Come on, what did she do? Daniel. She cries. She cries? No, she did not cry. No. Some say that combination of love and high expectation is exactly what disadvantaged kids at this South End school are craving. Some of the kids here at the school, different social, economic backgrounds, uh, this was really the first time for some of them getting pushed and getting nurtured. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Being a first-time mother makes Marjorie's mission that much more clear, a mission instilled since she was a child in Haiti. Marjorie was six when her mother left the family to work for a better life for all of them in the U.S. It took eight years before the family was reunited. We knew that education was our salvation. Marjorie grew up determined to succeed. She got a full scholarship to NYU, earned a law degree, and worked for a big Seattle law firm. One day, her true destiny revealed itself. I thought, okay, what excites me? Working with children, making a contribution. And so I thought, okay, I want to become a teacher. She's never looked back in 14 years. Even now, I mean, I still wake up in the middle of the night with a sense of wonderment that I have a job that I love so much. I mean, I love teaching. And I wondered whether or not when I had my own child, whether that would affect my ability to love my kids as much as I do. And what I discovered is that I love them more. The love doesn't end when the school day ends. Hello, is this Darren's mom? In the evenings, she reaches out to families. I just was wondering if you could help Darren work on his homework packet. So that um, kids know yeah, their moms at home yeah, support their mom at school. Uh, nice job today. This mom expects a lot. Tomorrow I'll bring my brain. Bring your brain tomorrow, bye. And very often, gets what she expects. This is what I was born to do. I mean, if God came in and told me, whisper in my, in my ears what, 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 you know, what you want to do for your life, I will have to, do, to say to him, I'm already doing it. I'm teaching. And there's nothing else that I'm about to be doing but teaching. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I believe that it takes a whole village to teach a child. I believe that I would not be the teacher that I am today without the nurturing and the support of the John Muir community. I believe that parents know their children best and that they will give you their unfailing support if they know that you care for their child. I believe that children will do more for you than they will do for themselves if they know that you love them. I believe that teaching is more than a job, that it is in fact a calling. It is a calling for you to fight over low expectation, indifference, and mediocrity, a calling to inspire in order to awaken in children the seed of their own greatness. Finally, I believe that the fact that I'm a teacher, that I get a chance every year to be touched and to touch the lives of children is proof that the universe is conspiring every day to make us happy. I want to thank my friend Adam for nominating me for this award, and I want to thank all of you for inspiring me to become a better teacher and a better person. Thank you so much. Thank you.